story of Randy Fishworth, a magician. Uh, yeah. So, start. Gearbox Software is a company. Uh, they make video games. Uh, video games like these ones. Randy Fishboard is also the CEO of Gearbox Software. Randy loves magic. Uh, before working in the games industry, he was a magician. Um, this is a magic trick. Um, get your Fishboard's ready. Uh, I'm using uh, screenshots of the actual legal document uh, in this presentation. So Gearbox is involved in, in a legal battle with uh, this man. His name is Wade Callender. Uh, he was the former lawyer. Um, Gearbox initially sued him because they believed um, he used it, their funds uh, on his personal expenses, like vacations, guns. Um, Wade is countersuing, and this is where these allegations come from. Uh, based on these allegations alone, it, they're not exactly, not everything is credible because um, it's in Wade's best interest for everything to be true. Uh, Calendar and Pitchford were best friends for around 40 years, and then they had a falling out. Uh, in November, Pitchford's uh, company, Gearbox, uh, sued Calendar for over $1 million. And cal Calendar's counterhead has resulted in allegations varying in credibility that can only be described as zany, dark, and mildly dreams. Power of misdirection. In order to, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, this is an actual thing. Uh, preliminary statement, more, manipulated and morally uh, bankrupt CEO who shamefully exploited his oldest friend. Uh, you can see that there's emotionally charged language in this, um, uh, according to the uh, same document. No one should be fooled by Randy Pitchford's incessant misdirection. And it was Randy Pitchford himself who breached his fiduciary duties by exploiting Gearbox employees and property to fund Pitchford's private cravings. Um, for example, um, Randy was denying uh, employee raises predicted on low cash reserves. Sailed, um, he settled Gearbox's employees with the burden of repaying his private personal $12 million bonus that he rerouted from Gearbox's publisher straight to his side entity, a pitch for media and magic. This is an obvious breach of fiduciary duty is the, just the tip of the pitch for iceberg. Um, this is not good from business theft. Not good in business theft at words. Um, the consensus is that Pitchford likely did steal his money for personal gain. Uh, take this tweet, for instance. David Edmonds was a voice actor there, and here's what he had to say about it. Um, Magic Blonde. Uh, I'm going to be using, uh, I'm going to be censoring certain words, and I'm going to be saying pizza um, instead of them. So December 14th, um, so, Randy's favorite restaurant is probably Medieval Times. Um, he went there in a, <laughs> he went there in December 2014, and he left a flash drive there. Uh, I would be referring to it as a magic wand. He lost his magic wand. This created a couple of problems, because Randy's the kind of guy who <laughs> keeps a USB full of drive full of company secrets and brings it to medieval times. He also puts his personal collection of barely legal pizza on the drive, hopefully. As you can see here, uh, here's um, from the actual legal document. Upon information of belief, Randy Fishburne's USB drive also contained Randy Fishburne's personal collection of underage Italian cuisine. The even times sent Randy Fishburne just to stick back to Gearbox in return for video games and sway, which is what he actually said. The employees there tend to see through if, if there was an important data breach. And uh, people were upset with what they found. Randy's alleged love of cheese pizza is a major part of the lawsuit. Um, the credibility of this claim is true. I mean, uh, this specific part is true, and we know it's true because a magician never reveals the secrets, except for Randy Fishburne, because he does. <laughs> <laughs> On the Smith podcast, Randy, Randy openly admitted to um, the aforementioned Magic Blonde story. Uh, that? Clarification. 
Raised Count says that his, his calzones are toasty. Gallagher says that his calzones are premature. Randy also admitted to you that you described as a very legal pizza. <laughs> on the flashback because he thought there was magic happening in the, in the clip. To quote Randy, I realized this is not an Italian pie worker, this is a freaking magician. It gets worse, but less reliable. Um, Pitchford subsequently siphoned Gearbox's profits to some fun parties thrown by Pitchford and his wife at their home for their own personal benefit. At these events, which they dubbed peacock parties, adult men have reportedly exposed themselves to minors to the amusement of Randy Pitchford. There is no evidence other than personal account here, so the burden, burden of proof lies on Calendar's behalf. Uh, here's, what Fish, uh, here's what Gearbox uh, said about it. The allegations made by a disgruntled former employee are absurd, with no basis in reality or law. We look forward to addressing this meritless lawsuit in court and have no further comment at this time. It's somewhat obvious that both sides have some merit. Based on uh, you know what uh, Calendar's uh, charge words lack, lack of evidence, uh, it's fair to say they might be trying to sign the Pitchford, especially because of the falling out that happened. At the same time, there's strong evidence to suggest that Pitchford has done bad things. At this point in the case, there has been little development. I think the allegations and actions will definitely harm the company. I think the situation is equally funny and disturbing. Um, I think Pitchford is guilty, um, but the Peacock Party allegations don't sound very credible to me. Um, what does it matter? Uh, if it's true, it's another Me Too story. Um, two, it's little stealing by greedy people in power to call in a bonus, for example. And three, um, working conditions in the gaming industry are notoriously bad, and this is relevant to the discussion around it. Uh, how should we deal with people who, with leaders that suck in society? How can we protect ordinary people from corporate Tom Cooley? Um, is Borderlands 3 coming? <laughs> no. Probably not. It's not true. How much true allegations can ruin somebody's lofty career? Is the system broken? Click through that text. Are essential laws too lax? What are the effects of guilty before proven innocent mentality in a culture? Are essential assumptions of guilt impeding progress in science and technology? How will this case will be resolved? So, you just, yeah, I'm done.